Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about Black Cover, season number one, episode number six, The Black Bulls. And here, this episode mostly focuses on um, Asta and him being introduced to all the members of the Black Bulls. We already met Captain Yami, and Captain Yami is bringing Asta to his um to his um to his crew, to his to the members of this team, and he pretty much let, let them know they got we got a new guy here, and here you go. And so when Asta sees these people, they are insane. They're crazy. They're fighting between one another. They're doing a lot of weird things. They don't know what he don't know what's going on. They, everything everything is chaotic, because this 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 scene seeing Asta um, being introduced to this um this group, reminds me of fairy tale. Because they're a bunch of people who have magical powers as well. And they're also insane and crazy. And they fight amongst themselves. But they do love one another. And they care about one another. And they got each other's backs. And then anything bad is going to happen to them. They will back up each other. And this kind of reminds me of that here too. And so. Everybody who's part of the Black Bulls. Is not really fully accepting of Asta. And one member in particular is um, Madna Swing. And he sees Asta as some hick. He sees him out as some hick, and he says, well, if you want to wear this cape like us and be a black bull like us, you got to fight me. You got to go through this, in this initiation. If you pass this initiation, well, then you are worthy to not to wear the cape, and you can be a member of the black bulls. And so you have Asta, and you have um, Magna pretty much going head to head in this episode right here. Now, they, they do show a little bit of, you know, um, in, the, in the Golden Dawn, but they only show one member there. And the, the member, and this guy also doesn't really want um um you know there either because he sees him as a hick, and he sees because he's not a, he's not a noble or come from any type of royalty at all, and so he's some, some guy from some hick town. He's, he's talking about no no you, I don't know why because everybody raised their hands to you doesn't mean you're you're special so you got to prove that you belong here to like everybody else. That's pretty much it with them. Most, most everything else focuses on the black bulls, and you see how crazy and weird they are. Everybody got weird, weird little perks and weird little things about them, but they, but they are interesting, even though they are insane. But and they, and they do have one thing in common: they all respect Yami. They all respect him, look up to him, and love him. And they're dedicated to him. Whatever he says goes. So that's what that's what they, that's what they do. And that's pretty much this, I was going on this episode right here, and I'd say it's, it's, it's fine. It's weird. It's crazy. That's the world. That's, that's, that's the whole world, and. I'm liking how um, Yami is looking at other people and seeing somebody, people who are crazier than him. And let's see how he, you see how, how he's fitting in and finding his way. Because he has no magical powers at all. But he does have a power. What kind of power did it come from? What kind of power is it? I don't know for sure. But the fact that he has trained his body to, 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 this, to this point where it's like superhuman allows him to do a lot of amazing things with this gift that he has. Because even though most of all of his attacks are physical, the, what he brings out of that book seems to help him repel against magic and reflect against magic as well. Now, where does, they probably later on, you probably going to reveal where this power is coming from, where, or how, how he got it later on. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not, it's interesting to see the journey and see all the characters he's going he, he to be with along, on, along the way on this journey. Because he wants to be the Wizard King. That's his main goal. That's all he wants to do. And now you're pretty much watching him get introduced to other people that's going to help him Reach his goal, maybe, maybe, because because you can tell from the start it's gonna come down between him and um you know, so who's gonna win? Who's gonna be on top? I don't know, but it's but now he's gonna find just gonna see just how Oscar's skills improve and how he how stronger he, how strong he's gonna get and how strong he's gonna become. So right now, all this is just introduction to the to the to the, to the other members of the other group, and I think I really did enjoy it. So if you have watched this episode of Black Cover, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about it. And if you haven't seen it, just check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. I don't know anything. Just check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy and have fun watching it too. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So give my channel the big old like, the thumbs up. Mm, boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams and in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out. Uh, peoples.